Hello everyone, in this video we will try to understand how to access data using Entity Framework Core Database First Approach. Basically uh, your .NET Core does not give direct support to your database first approach. Like earlier we used to have a EDMX file, ADO.NET Entity Data Model and we used to add it and then right click and next next. No, we do not have that. It purely supports code first approach but what we are doing we are we are doing a kind of reverse engineering and we are trying to achieve this so in this video we will understand how to work with entity framework code in database first approach so there are three steps which are involved the first step is installing few packages so these are the four packages that you need to install that is entity framework core microsoft dot entity framework core then core dot sql server then core dot sql server design then core dot tools dot dot net the next step is i need to add a cli to cs project file now what is cs project file where do i get that and how do i add we will see that and finally i need to run a command on developer command prompt that command is nothing but dot net ef db context then scaffold your connection string and the output to the models folder or any folder wherever you want to get the output so these are the three steps which are involved and if you have some updates in the database, that means you have added tables or removed some columns, added a new column, then you can simply use hyphen F that is forced to update. Now let us see its demo. I have a database that is learning with two tables, department and employee. In department table, I have a single record. Now let us try to connect to this database and this table and get this record displayed so first of all i need packages so i'll simply right click and now i'll go for manage nuget package in dependencies in nuget you do not have that package so i'll just right click and say manage nuget packages microsoft entity framework core dot sql so first i need that core so this core i'll install and you see that it has got installed here and next dot sql server you see that i'll just say install should see even that package over here so now you understand the clear difference if you need DLLs and you need to work with packages, then you have NuGet Package Manager. If you want to work with client side, then you have BOA. And design, even we need this, so install. So I accept terms and conditions. So I got that. And I need tools.net. This is for command line tool command line tool includes dot net hyphen entity framework so if i want to work with command prompt then i need this so we have successfully installed these packages now i'll simply right click on this project and i'll go for edit my first core app dot cs project so here you have all those packages package references you have framework core then SQL server design dot net so in this I need to add one more item group now what is that I'll simply copy I'll say dot net command line tool include dot net command line tool reference I'm trying to include that now I'll save this now I'll go for command prompt now where is my command prompt to go to visual studio folder then here you have developer command prompt so i can 
directly click on developer command prompt i have pinned to the taskbar i'll click on this i get the command prompt now i should move to the folder of project that means i should move to this folder i'll say right click open file in the folder so i need this path i'll copy this path and i'll say cd and i'll paste that I said simply write i colon it will take me to that path so i'll say dir you can see the project complete project cls clear the screen now i want that command that is dot net entity framework db context and here the database name is i eis db i want to change it to this database that i want to connect learning and you see that server is slash dot slash sql express database and trusted connection paste it here my output will be in models folder that is this is the model folder so i'll get my output over here i'll just press enter it takes little time and now i should see that i get the things i get tbl employee i get tbl department and i get context and i get on configuration and the connection string is here so I get everything. This is my context object. So I'll copy this. Now I'll just add. Let me rebuild. So that it should identify all the classes. Now I'll right click. I'll add a controller. I'll go for empty controller. I want to do everything from scratch part meant now here I'm going to create the object of learning context which is in models now it is suggesting me the name as well you see that variable names I need not to worry I'm getting a suggestion for that equals to new I'm creating the object of that and in the index I'm trying to return learning context dot tbl department first or default let us not return the list let, let, let us return a single record that's it first or default anyway we have a single record just we want to test now index I need to add so I'm going to add a view here I need to bind the model at model M should be in small and model is nothing but your TBL departments which is present in this namespace dot TBL department I'll say h1 at model dot you get everything department name h2 at model dot department hod that's it I want to display these two things let me execute and check whether it is getting me the data from the database or not just say department and here I get the human resource and S Shivakumar which is in the database so we have successfully accessed the data from the database using entity framework database first approach and it is 
on .NET Core platform. So that's it for this course. Thank you very much. Keep following me on Facebook or Twitter or YouTube or my portal for more advanced courses on .NET Core. Thank <laughs> you.